Hey guys, what's up? It's Eflin here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a vault look pretty cool in Warframe, so stay tuned for that. Alright guys, welcome to my Vault Fashion Frame video, and now I did say last week that I'd be doing a Riven video every Tuesday. I decided against that simply because I still... I'm not really sold on the entire concept of Rivens. It just kind of seems like a massive, unnecessary grind to me and just something that shouldn't be in the game. I did get a few comments saying, um, yeah, Flynn, you can't put like more than one Riven on any said weapon. And to me, that, that in a way, I guess, sure, from a uh, balancing standpoint, that makes it, um, you know, obviously not overpowered, but it also takes a lot of the fun away from it, in my opinion. Like, if I, you know, get multiple Riven mods for the same weapon, um, I would like to use those on the same weapon, but obviously that would break the game and all that other stuff, but, um, you know, going over Rivens and stuff, I just don't know. It's a wishy-washy area, and I just don't want to get caught up in uh, said wishy-washy area, and I just want to make my Warframes look cool and continue playing Warframe and farming, uh, you know, the flashy, cool-looking items that I always have been farming in the game, and not worry too much about the mods, basically replacing the mods that I've already farmed up, so, um, yeah, this is my Vault Fashion Frame video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make Vault look like this, or basically my sort of pattern or design form, and how you can make this sort of your own design too. So if we take a look at my sort of uh, color pattern right here, this is basically the default Vault Prime skin. Uh, the Vault Amp skin, not a fan of, I just don't think it looks too great. Vault Grax skin, if you were to change the colors around for this, it would look pretty awesome, even though it in a sense does look pretty badass here as well. Vault Immortal, don't like it. I just straight up don't like it. Um, so if you like, go ahead and choose the Vault Grax skin. I'll obviously have an upcoming video covering this skin whenever I decide to pick it up, whenever I get bored of looking at my Vault as he is. But I just think Vault as he is is a pretty cool looking frame. I think the designers did an awesome job um, designing Vault. And, you know, obviously they have some really awesome looking helmets to complement it now uh, because of Tenogen and a lot of other cool stuff. So you have things like the Vault Arrestor Helmet. I think this is my favorite right here. Um, pretty awesome looking helmet. Uh, vault Pulse Summit is the original one. Not a fan of. Not a fan of the Vault Relay Helmet. Vault Storm is an original one. Vault Phallus Helmet. Not really a fan of. I just don't think the colors mix too well. But obviously if you change the colors up it might look a little bit better. But uh, in terms of my color scheme I think the Vault Arrestor Helmet actually does look the best. But obviously Vault Prime still looks badass as well. Um... So, with, without talking about the helmets too much, let's talk about the color scheme and how we can actually change this up a bit. So, very simplistic, very basic. Um, this here accents basically controls the color of your shiny bits on your prime frame. So, I can change this to pink. I can change this to black if I didn't want any shiny bits at all. Um, you know, I can change it to like a gold color. If I go ahead and go in the grenier, I can make it like a goldish color. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool looking. I always like to put it on white, like just a bright white because I like that silver look that it gets. I think it's just the metallic material of it, it makes it shine a lot more and obviously the reflection of my ship makes it cool. Obviously I could also add like a white background behind it and make it look even cooler but I just think that how it is right now it looks really cool with the ref reflections and everything. Uh, also how it looks in game it looks pretty badass and just my sort of style around making my frames look pretty cool. I think that um you know having like everything glowy is is pretty cool you know so um yeah so it's a basic black color scheme on the primer you can change this to whatever you want really but i think black fits the best because it makes everything else sort of pop out and then you can go ahead and change around the secondary tertiary and energy colors to make it look even better you can basically make this any single color you want so you know i want uh to be able to make uh you guys have sort of your own color scheme so let's go for a turquoise i don't know why i always I uh, gravitate towards this color, but, you know, it's just one that I have starred. I think it, it pops, it, you know, stands out in the black. And it looks, I guess, semi-decent, uh, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't look amazing, but it looks pretty cool. You know what I mean? So, it's another really cool sort of pop out in your face sort of color, which, um... Just looks cool on Vault. Just looks cool with all the, the flashy energy energy color uh, styles that you can make with Vault anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and what's the fan favorite color? I think everyone everyone seems to like the color blue. I have no idea why. I see a lot of people running the color blue. So let's go with uh, dark blue here just in the uh, classic one. And then go ahead and equip that there because, you know, 
people like to use this here even if we just use the, the regular blue right so we get obviously get classic just use the regular blue which is this one so if we go ahead and apply that well maybe we'll use the brighter yeah let's go with the bright one I'll, I'll mark that there and go with the bright one um so this is just the default color palette as uh, if i'm not mistaken uh, i don't think it's either classic or classic saturated but it'll be somewhere close if you just have that there you can still look vault prime at least look pretty pretty cool obviously vault prime will be getting vaulted soon so i thought i'd record this video basically showing off vault um because he will be getting vaulted and it just sort of makes sense to show people what they are missing out on essentially if they don't farm for vault and all that good stuff but even if you just have the regular color palettes you can still make them look pretty badass with a white and a blue white blue and black color scheme there um in terms of the attachments and stuff which is what i guess really makes him look uh as awesome as he does you have your vault prime armor for your left shoulder and your right shoulder so there's no need to really you know change anything there but let's just go ahead and strip him off everything else um you know whoops i clicked the wrong one there go ahead and strip him of everything else and basically show you how he looks like he still looks pretty badass pretty decent without any of those attachments maybe get rid of this uh sigil here and change it to something a little bit darker or turn the alpha down um so let's go ahead and change up the um sigil just a little bit Change this to something, I don't know, I think the stalker sigil looks nice as long as you um, obviously orient it po properly like that there. Looks pretty decent, uh, I don't like how the blue sort of pops out there so um, definitely recommend keeping this on a black color so you just see the outline off it. But I don't like the the blue energy color on his actual chest there. So you know, obviously I try to change that up to match the actual shade of the blue. So I'd make it a little bit darker like that there. I think that looks a lot better. So it's just a darker shade of the blue, of the already dark blue uh, on the base vault, on the energy color of the regula or the regalia. No, it's on his base energy color, sorry. Um, so... Uh, going into his attachments and stuff i like obviously having the glowy colors you'll see that there on basically all my fashion frame videos anything that glows uh you can basically say uh you know flynn's gonna throw that on his fashion frame videos or he's gonna do this that and the other but with vault it's kind of just personal preference to be completely honest because almost every single cyan dana works with it right so you can have that there i don't know why you'd ever choose this because it kind of looks like a taco or burrito or whatever uh, not that I've ever seen a taco or burrito that looks like that there before. I don't know why that came to mind. It's just ugly looking Cyandana and they tend to be ugly. Um, but, you know, it's just, I guess it kind of depends on the color scheme that you have on the frame. And it also depends on, um, you know, what you actually own and what you think looks cool. Again, like I said, personal preference. But most things work well as, not, as long as they're sticking to that sort of consistent black, white, and blue they have like an even amount of the colors throughout the sign down instead of something like that like this here where it's like mainly blue um make it make sure that it has like an even spread of the colors like this here i like this um a little bit of white making everything else pop out you know the glowy one this here one doesn't look too bad uh that one i don't like it too much blue um too much blue in this one like i already mentioned think a little bit too much blue here but this one is i guess it's passable this one's pretty decent because I think it has a decent sort of mix of the colors. This one's too black. Let's reassist. Uh, this one's okay. I just don't like it personally. I just don't like that sign Dana. Don't like this one. Too much black and blue. Too much black and blue. This one I think is perfect. It's got a good mix of the pattern. Good mix of the colors. Uh, this one is okay. I just don't like the design. You know, the Mesa Prime obviously looks good in any anything. But I would change, personally I'd change this here white color to a black. Uh, see how that there looks if we go ahead and do that you know that looks a lot better at least in my opinion because it sort of fits with the back of the vault but we'll go ahead and change that there back um obviously you can do that there with any cyan dana it's just i like to do it with a mesa prime because it's easier to do this one i don't like it too much black and blue uh going back to yep we're here too much white uh too much blue decent i guess passable don't like it though because there's not enough white in there uh I think this one's perfect you got that decent mixture of colors this one again uh just because it glows i feel nothing else really uh this one if there was more white i think i'd go for it but you know it looks it still looks cool looking cyan down you can't say it's not too much black and blue this one's okay don't like this one on him this here one i like this one i think this one really looks nice uh you that cyan down i have two of these for some reason i'd obviously change this here the black uh, that white bit up there, I changed that to black. 
This one looks decent, but not my favorite. I think the Mesa Prime just beats it out by a long shot. This one is okay. This one is meh. This one is okay. I changed the blue, the blue energy color to white here. I think that looks a lot better. Um, going back and changing it to the original blue. Uh, that's the wrong blue. Derp, derp. There we go. Is it the wrong blue? I don't know. Who cares? Let's just go back and uh, look through some of the other signs. And this here one looks pretty nice on Vault. No idea why. This one looks cool. This one looks cool. This one looks cool. They all pretty much look decent on them. You know, as long as you just have a basic... Like like this here. This is perfect. That has a perfect balance of colors right there. That is a perfect sign down. Especially with matching this uh, the color scheme that I'm showing. Uh, you know, just get a decent mix. And then you should be good to go. My personal favorite, Pyro Prime. I just like the Pyro Prime. I like how it looks. Cool, cool color and cool stuff. You know, uh, same thing with the chest plate. Get something metallic. Get something that sort of stands out a little bit. Something metallic or something that glows. Port of chest plate, Pacal, Quadro is okay. Too much blue on the sort of base of it though. That's why I wouldn't choose it. I don't recommend the Targus Prime on them because I just think that you have a blue on top of a black. It just doesn't make any sense. So I'd go with the Edo. Go with the Porta. Or I go with the Acanthus. I think the Acanthus looks pretty cool. Uh, can't. Yeah, that's what it's called, Acanthus. So, you know, just doing your thing. Getting anything that sort of looks metallic, metallic and complements that Prime look, I feel. So, Rivalite looks pretty nice, especially on the chest and on the feet. But, you know, Acanthus is a pretty good pick, at least in my opinion, for both. Uh, but if I were to choose, I'd probably go with the Edo Prime just because I like the glowy effect of the Edo Prime and then have the Acanthus feet and that would be me good to go. And then you can obviously change all, around all the colors and stuff like I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Um, so let's go with a green. I already showed like a turtoise, I guess. So we'll go with like, I don't know, let's go with, um, a bright purple? Bright purple. Nah. Nah, let's not go with that. Let's go with one. Uh, let's go with one from the new Katir pack. Let's go with this brown. No idea why. Just changing it up a little bit. Not a lot of people use brown, but you know it works. You can see that it works. You got a brown, brown vault. Got to change the weapons, obviously, to make it look cool, make it fit in. And then, you know, you can add some glowy like weapons or something, like the Nakana Prime with the Gemini skin, like so. Change it up. There you are. Whoops, did I? Yep, I messed that up. There you go. Looks pretty cool, right? So, it's all just about choosing colors that you like and making, you know, the colors complement one another, I guess. And that's pretty much it. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, there's Ning and the Cat. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button below. And you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.